Hello everyone. Merry belated Christmas. I'm glad to be here with y'all today. Thank you for joining with me. Uh, I just have a brief message. I want to reach out uh, over the holidays and um, be able to speak with y'all. And um, thank y'all for joining with us today. So as I start off this, this brief message that I have for y'all today um, to all my friends and those uh, watching abroad. Um, I want to mention something that I've only heard of just recently, uh, known as the Sunday Scaries. Now, the Sunday Scaries, I get them sometimes, but I know people in my family, my friend groups, uh, that seem to dread work or a return to real life coming off the weekend, and uh, you have this nice, long, extended break, and you just have this overwhelming feeling of dread. Uh, I can relate as a teacher. Sometimes... I know that there's things I got to do come Monday, or I know that my lesson plan may not be as airtight as I would like it, or um, maybe I had a problem with the student and uh, go in and address that in the coming Monday, whatever that will be. Uh, we all uh, have our fears coming off the weekends, but perhaps I want to suggest that we also have the Christmas scaries. Um, I hear people that are very excited for the holidays, and I, I can relate to this. Uh, you spend all this time, money, effort coming into the holidays, and all of a sudden, you're here, you have your 24 hours, less than 24 hours really, to celebrate Christmas, and then it's over. You invested all this time, money, and planning, all for one day, uh, and it just diminishes and um, within hours, and people dread, dread the return to work, to real life, or maybe just... A fear of leaving that holiday feeling where there's always this goodwill and love towards everybody um, but I, I understand the way uh, things are but one thing that I want to help center us uh, as we continue throughout this ho uh, holiday season into the new year and all this um, is perspective uh, there was a man a uh, romantic uh, novelist from the 1800s, I believe, named Jean-Baptiste Alphonse Carr. Maybe I butchered his name. Um, I know a little of him, but I know he has some fantastic quotes. And he said this. He said, We can complain because rose bushes have thorns, or rejoice because thorns have roses. See, perspective is important. We're not to get lost in a day, because each day is a chance to recenter and remember why the day matters, why Christmas mattered at all. Every day is new. Lamentations 3, 22 through 23. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. And as the old hymn says, great is thy faithfulness. See, birth becomes significant in death and death becomes significant in life. The life of humanity is not linear. It is not just a straight line, okay? And I know I'm veering off of Christmas, but I'm going to bring it back around. Y'all see where I'm going with this. It's not something that's just linear. Uh, life isn't. Life is more, instead of a line, it's more of a crooked parabola or a U. You are born, you die, you live again, or die again, depending on an important choice that is made. Christmas matters because the Son of God came to ultimately die. But with his death, he rose again, and he ushered more life for those that believe, according to 1 Corinthians 15, 7-8. And if Christ be not raised, your faith is in vain, ye are yet in your sins. Then they which are also fallen asleep in Christ are perished. You see, in his death, we were given another chance at life. We were given the ultimate chance at life. And with his resurrection, we're able to participate in a resurrection ourselves. Romans 4.25 says, uh, Who was delivered for our offenses, referring to Jesus, and was raised again for our justification. Christ's ultimate goal in coming here was to give life. So when it seems like life is ending at the end of Christmas season, that's not the way that it was for Jesus Christ. He lived, When he was born, he lived 33 more years. He was crucified, but he rose again, and now he sits at the right hand of the Father evermore. The end of the holiday season 
brings more life. It shouldn't feel like a collapse um, in the in our way of life, even though sometimes I know that's how it is with the way that everything is now. But because Christmas has begun a long journey back around doesn't mean that you should have fear. We should have no fear. Fear not, as the angels say. Allow Christ and his wonderful promise of life encourage you and alleviate the Christmas scaries that may be coming uh, throughout this holiday season. I just wanted to give this brief message uh, to come and encourage you. Um, as we go into the new year and as we continue a new year around, Jesus Christ is still at the right hand of God interceding um, uh, for the believer. And if, you do, if you're not a believer or you're wondering yourself what this is all about, reach out to us. I would love to speak with you in regards to this and tell you uh, the importance, the very much importance of believing in Jesus Christ's death, burial, and resurrection for your justification and for, um, and for life uh, that you can have eternal. So God bless my friends. Happy Holidays. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ. You are loved uh, here at Enriching Grace Ministries, and we are very thankful um, for all that you do, uh, for your participation. And uh, if you need anything, uh, reach out to us. God bless. You are loved. Merry Christmas.